we are Daniels could win a tidy $15,000 at this finals. Not bad for a cowboy from Open Shelby, Florida. Now maybe that's not exactly the hotbed of calf roping country, but it looks like nobody ever told D.I. that. The signs say leave it to Beaver at this year's NFR. That's Joe Beaver and this youngster is smoking him. Rookie of the year and just maybe a world champion. His first year in the pros. He's one to watch today. Here's the man they call Super Looper. This is Roy Cooper. Maybe the greatest looper ever. Now Roy's having his roughest finals here this year. But at any day, he can beat the best of them, and he's shown them in the late rounds here. He's still in tight for the Cap Open title. This event is all about speed, and it's spelled Mike McLaughlin. Here's Mike setting a new NFR Cap Open record time in the sixth round. Mighty, mighty fast. But the way these guys are open, even that may not stand up. That is Cap Open as we are set to go with the final round. Al Tierney, up next, this man holding down second place in the average. An outside chance for this guy to win the world title. In fact, no chance at all if you want to be honest about it, but he can be the spoiler for Joe Beaver. Well, an $8,000 day money means quite a bit to him. He's a tough competitor, a fast all-around champion. He's had to stay cool and calm. Looks like he's going to make a good run here. A little slow on that first lap, 8.3. He did put some pressure on the board. Now, Tierney's 8.3. We might uh, take a look at the separation of the total times between Beaver and Tierney. It was only about one second. So you see, he has put the pressure on Beaver to maintain his position, or Tierney will move ahead of him. And the uh, breakdowns in the money level and the average is so important, it's about a $3,000 jump between those placings. So, you know, when you're pulling with 3000 moving you around, that can kind of open the door for Cooper a little bit more. Tierney may have helped him right there. Well, I'll tell you, it's amazing what the big bucks can do in this game. Years ago, a $3,000 anything means uh, that you have a cinch on it. You stay in age, you better stay nervous. Yeah, it used to be $3,000 totals. Now it's $3,000 jumps between first, second, and third. That's right. Raymond Holabaugh, he is next to go. Now, Raymond has not had as good a finals as he had hoped. But you know he's won over $10,000, and we even talk about him not having good finals. He is still in the average in fifth place, and that's why he goes for this second loop now. Whoa, misses two of them. You talked about a man not having a good finals and winning $10,000. That'd be my best year at the finals. I won $6,000, and that was in three events. D.R. Daniel is one of the new kids on the block. He comes from Florida, the only man from Florida to qualify here in the national finals. Now, D.R. showed well earlier in the week, but he's had a little trouble in the late rounds. The young man who wants to become a world champion one of these days, learned how to rodeo on his grandparents' 10,000 acre ranch in Florida. Probably roped a lot of calves down there, brings up two hind legs, two reps and a half hit. Good run on the calf by DR, and he'd like to pick up some of this go-round money. Showing good on this one, but as you know, they have to stay tied for six seconds. The calf does not. DR comes away with no time on this one. He's not had all that bad a final, as a matter of fact. Daniel showing in at uh, 12,000 bucks. It'll be a good Christmas. <laughs> Mike Johnson, a young man that's made quite a name for himself in the calf roping world from Fort Worth, Texas. He's placed four times. He won a first, scored a first and a second, won a second and third, and won a fourth at the final so far this year. And that all totals out to over $15,000 and a seventh place position in the average right now. He's waiting for somebody to foul up in the average, and one man already has. Hollabaugh has allowed Johnson technically right now to move up into the money. We pay six. Remember in the average. Concentration. Roy Cooper standing behind him. Excuse me, I said he was in Fort Worth. He's from Henrietta, Oklahoma. These young men spend 
hours in the practice gym. Oh, that's right, Cattle. Did you see Roy Cooper and Joe Beaver standing there shoulder to shoulder? Probably one of those two men in the background. A few moments from now will be the champion of the world. They don't know which one. They're watching to see the start, to see how far that man's going to let that calf move before he clicks his heels together. But I like how when the head, the calf clears the gate, that's when you click him. That's when you start. Trouble getting him on the ground. Can't get that one hind leg, keep sticking in the dirt back there. Now the reason being, I think, Larry, is because he picked up a front foot in the head catch, and the calf was off balance. He just uh, maybe was putting a little more pressure on his hind feet, and it made a very, very tough situation for Mike Johnson. 19 and 9 will be the time for Johnson. This is the pin of cattle that they set the arena record on. We had a couple of calves tied down in the seven-second range, and Roy Cooper was one of them. I don't know if they're riding a little hard on the cattle today, just having the... Uh, the troubles that come, that come about naturally, but they're not as hot on this pin of cattle as they were earlier in the week. This speedster right here. Many times we've referred to John Rockwell as the beat goes of rodeo. The reason that we do that is this man is a hustler. When he gets on that ground, and as Larry pointed out a moment ago, they'll bail out the right side. He hits the ground and does move to those cattle. Rockwell has had an exceptionally good finals. He's had a very good year. There's man 37 years old that's out there beating men that are 20, 21, 22. So that means that he works at it. He stays in solid physical shape, and that is important again. Did you see that pressure that he put on? A single wrap and a half hitch. He's gambling on that tie. Remember a moment ago when D.R. Daniels' calf got up? Aha! Oh, he's holding his breath now. John is originally from Nebraska, up in the Sand Hills cattle country. He is the oldest man in the calf up here at the NFR. It is eight and eight. It's official for Rockwell, 8 and 8. So that will move him into second place in the round, and this is a tight go round. Another Canadian boy, Cliff Williamson. It was placed one time, but it was worth the uh, first place, which was $8,080. Did you see those maple leaves uh, flying a moment ago? Those Canadian fans really get behind these guys. You know in the late rounds, the way we watched this man do it, as he went out of the average, he started going for go rounds. As a result, he's missed a couple of calves right across the line, but he is just like a double stick of dynamite. He can get in your way at any time, and Williamson has a hot one going. Hang on, this is going to be good. Oh, oh. Okay, one half and a half pitch, and he rides up. He's going to hold his breath for six seconds, hoping that that calf does try it. Most of the time, I'd say seven out of ten times that the calf is tied with one half and a half pitch, and he tries to kick loose. It's going to happen. Stand still. Saddleback riding, in case you joined us late, we had a very, very tough round. And Brad Germanson has been declared the champion of the world. We maybe will have a chance to talk to him a little bit later. I think they have unscrambled it, and Germanson has maintained it. Mike McLaughlin in next. Here's another spoiler. Mike's not going to win the world title, but he's in first place in the average, and he is a bad customer to deal with for Joe Beaver. Think about this, when Cooper has only a go-round to work for him, how they have tried to shut the door on him. We have three eight-second runs already. Mike McLaughlin may make it four. Half kick. So you draw a kick and cap, and you still turn in a run of 10 and 1. The cheers that you hear are for their man, Larry Robinson. Canada has looked good here in the 10th round of Ropen. Williamson is leading the round of 8-1. Robinson has a good chance at the world title. What he needs is to shut him out here in the round and hope that he can move up in the average. This is 
his first shot at the championship. He's won over $250,000 at Open Calves. Now, most of these men in the timed events haul their own horses. He said he hauls his about 90% of the time. By the right of that men fly to most of them. Ooh, gets him on the ground. Well, he's not going to do anything wrong. He's going on solid. One and a half. Now, you talk about a gamble, Larry. There is the biggest gamble of the day right there. Because of what happened to Hollabaugh, and then a little later on, Mike Johnson, this man had a chance to move into the payoff in the average, and he gambled with that single wrap, and the gamble paid off. He was going to place in the average now, about fifth or sixth, and right now he's showing in the go-round. That could have been the move that will end up being very important for Larry Robinson. Right now we have our champion saddle bump rider down there with Johnny Macbeth. John, how does the smile in North Dakota? I just try to stay calm and make a good ride. There's uh, so many good riders here. taking the lead in this go-round. He will move up at least two positions in the average as a result of what has happened by some of our other men. And he may, and I say may, have shut the door too tight for Roy Cooper now. Even if Cooper wins the round, I'm not sure he can do it. Well, I'll tell you, this man here can handle pressure a bit better than any rope I've seen during the time I've, the times I've been around rodeo. Roy Cooper, he likes pressure. That man you see on your screen was the teacher of Joe Beaver. He taught that kid all of the precision moves that he possesses, and now all he has to do is cultivate them. Ten years difference in age. He will have to tie a cap in at least 7-8 to win the world title. He will have to be 7-8 or better. Cooper still has a chance to do it. I think he's going to miss the world title by three tenths of a second. Now that's only a preliminary call, but I believe he has lost the world title by three tenths of a second. The cap is kick free. The cap is kick free. It's going to be over for this man. It is no time, no time for Roy Cooper. Well, there's one of the greatest champions of all time in this event. Great all-around champion, Roy Cooper, 30 years old. That doesn't mean it's over. Well, there's the way it came down in the 10th round. Joe Beaver gets the win. Cliff Williamson, Paul Judy, and Larry Robinson. That's the way it went in calf roping, and we'll be right back with the NFR telecast after this message. 